Hey dudes, I'm Channel Master Jake, and so today we're going to be going over Netflix's original movie, Bright. Now, I'm pretty sure the idea they have behind Bright is that it's going to be like a series of movies that just kind of build off of each other into like its own Bright universe or something. Which, I don't know, that'd be pretty cool to see. But in the meantime, they've only released one, and I had a chance to sit down and watch it with my family. By the way, don't watch this with little kids. I learned that the hard way. The, despite some problems I do have with it, and I do have problems with it, I think that there actually is some pretty good, interesting ideas and materials inside of Bright. So in the effort of positivity, instead of pointing out the negatives, maybe we'll do that next time. Right now, we're just going to be looking at the good things that I found in Bright. And for starters, Will Smith again is an interesting, you know, he's, he's a good actor. He made an interesting character. And even though you uh, kind of want to slug him a couple of times, you kind of see where he's coming from, too. He's in between kind of a rock and a hard place for most of the movie. Where, you know, society's kind of pushing against him one way, and he, he just wants to just get stuff done. He doesn't want to be put in such a situation, but he has no choice. It's just kind of shouldered on him. It's partially his own fault, too, because they say that he's, he's terrible with partners, and as such, he's so bad. They're the reason they he got uh, the orc partner. There's like, okay, you know what? You're, you're just so terrible to work with. No one else wants to. Here, you get the new guy. There, go, have fun. But it made for an interesting character dynamic, and I really thought that he did a good job. I also really like the fact that the main character is actually an orc. Most of the other times we've seen orcs has been stuff kind of like... Well, that... You know, they're, they're usually brutish, they're mean, they're the bad guys. But seeing one as a good guy was really, really kind of cool to see. I liked it. I thought it was really cool. I'm like, this is this is something I haven't seen before, and I enjoy seeing something I haven't seen before. I was he, was, he was a really nice guy. I wanted to see what happened to him. I felt bad for him with the stuff that was happening. But I still was like, you know, I'm down. I want to I wanna see what happens to you, orc buddy. I certainly hope Will Smith doesn't shoot you by the end of this. Ugh. And I'll probably be in the minority here, but I liked what they did with sort of their mythology. Most people were mad. They were saying, oh, they, they were hinting at all this stuff, but they didn't actually say all this stuff. Oh. And when Netflix released like a video explaining more of like the history of this world, they're like, why wasn't that in the movie? It wasn't in the movie because it only has an hour and a half, two hour running time. They give you stuff like that, it's just a huge exposition dump and you would complain that there was a huge exposition dump instead they're trying to organically kind of weave it in and the point that they're trying to do is they're trying to have multiple movies each one builds on the other one you learn a little more about how the world works as it goes through each one it's not just the first one they go okay here's the entire information boom have fun no one wants to watch a movie like that it takes you out of the movie if it does anything you know it's 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 Distracting. It's distracting. It takes you away from focusing on the characters and the plot that they're in. That's where you should be focusing on. It's also interesting seeing elves as kind of the bad guys. They're all like Legolas perfect where they can do no wrong. Having that perfection coming at you going to kill you, you're like, shoot, there's nothing I can do. Bye. I'll see you all in the afterlife. I personally really enjoyed it. It was putting little twists on modern conventions that you don't normally see. The orc, the bad guys, now the good guy. The elves, the good guys, are now the bad guys. And I also liked the concept of magic kind of in this world where it exists, but it is rare as all heck, which makes it kind of interesting with the fact that they do finally find a magic wand. And apparently it's not like, it can grant the wish. It's like, no, this is like, uh, it's like, it's like a bazooka and a cannon got merged into one with a laser gun. And yet, it still is like 50 times more powerful than you would imagine. It's like a nuclear reactor, pretty much, in your hand. It was also a really cool effect that there was like magic dripping off of it. I don't know, that was just a cool visual aesthetic. That was, it was pretty awesome. It wasn't Harry Potter little sticks where they, It's been gone, you have years! So it was like, no, it's, it's a powerhouse of pure mayhem! Ah! So as you can not tell, I there are some things that I really did like about it. I maybe would have been happy if they explained magic a little bit more, you know, just a little bit of how it works a little bit. But with what we've got, I didn't think it was bad. And I think that it's actually a good jumping off point to explore more stuff in later movies. 
And also, an urbanized Middle Earth? Come on. I think I get some points for creativity, doesn't it? Maybe just a little bit? A little bit? So yeah, I, I, I liked it. Did I think it was perfect? No, I, I found a lot of flaws. Maybe I'll do a different video explaining the problems that I did have with Bright. But overall, I didn't think it was too bad. If there's a usual five star rating, I'd give it like two and a half, three. You know, it's about halfway. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. You know, sometimes there is a middle ground here. And you can't acknowledge there's good and bad and stuff and still like it or dislike it. It's just the way things work. So yeah, like the video if you liked it, only if you liked it, and consider subscribing. And also comment below and tell me what you thought of Bright, because it has very mixed opinions all around the board from what I've heard. I've been Channel Master Jake, and I'll see you dudes in the next one. Make sure to hug someone you love today. Bye.